Oh, my God. feet fell asleep three times this morning on the toilet at th- at different shits. I kept. <laughs> have your feet? Do your feet fall asleep on the toilet? No. Yes. You, yeah, yeah. Three different shits were long enough to make my feet fall asleep. <laughs> Are you guys foot tappers though? I go like that. I know. I go. I. You shit like that? No, you fucking don't. <laughs> like a guard boy. <laughs> you go toes yeah. up, dude. I'll explain why if you want. Oh yeah, hold on. Um. <laughs> You want me to you're exactly saying, reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new one told story. A new one told story. It's a fresh fake untold story. We good? Yeah. I clapped I, without you telling me to clap. Check one, two. Yeah. Check, check, That's check. Uh, new Untold Story episode 648. Um, what's chot? It's like a chew. You, it's something like a leaf that I, I had in Africa that's supposed to be like weed, Viagra, and Adderall. Oh, yeah. We, were talking about we talked this. about that. Were you hard? It, di- it didn't work. It didn't take. Did the leaf Did just look take? like a pussy? Was that what it like? <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yeah. it just, you just had to chew it and mold it in the titty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It didn't get us high at all. We just chewed like salad and spit it out for like four hours straight, maybe. They were probably just laughing at the white man. Yeah, yeah. No, because they did it too. They were having the white man chew cud. <laughs> um, obviously, Kyle's not in. Uh, he's going through all that. Thank you guys for everything. Uh, he sent me some things to say. Um, You know, he's on a podcast professionally, but sometimes he doesn't really have a way with words. So I have to be his mouthpiece here. Um, The love he's been getting from the listeners and people online means so much to him and his dad. His dad's in awe of how kind the strangers on the Internet can be. And his dad is reading everything. So on the Discord, on the Reddit, YouTube comments, his dad is reading it all and it's helping him out a ton. So that's awesome. He also wants us to he also wanted me to say that he still hasn't skipped a cold shower. And he ha- had a retail standoff at Verizon <laughs> with a, with an employee who refused to put down her chicken salad slider. <laughs> so I guess he will, he will he will give us that update as well. She was eating a chicken salad slider yeah. in the Verizon store. Yeah, That's but the, the 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 worker, I guess. So Kyle has just him and retail employees have the worst. Uh, the worst stuff, but obviously awful stuff that happened to Kyle, his family, uh, no, no, uh, Mrs. Bauer, the whole Bauer family. Uh, I mean, thoughts to them sucks really, really badly, but it shows the caliber of like people the Bowers are with this outpouring of love. It's been awesome to see. So thank you everybody for that. Uh, Kyle will be back soon. I'm sure. Facts. And keep it up. Keep saying nice stuff. Keep saying nice stuff. It if you want to throw our names in there, so <laughs> yeah. I love those guys too. Um, why the hell not? But thank you guys for hopping on today. Uh, it's been a whirlwind of a week, a move coming, a whatnot, before we never speak again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're going to well, miss your ass. What are, are you, what are you saying to KFC? Like when you're in here with us? No, I just got to go like tie my shoe in here. <laughs> <laughs> gotta take a call. I wasn't yeah. with him. <laughs> was, yeah, I'm cheating. I wasn't just. even. I wasn't even being funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was a weird episode. Kyle's mom just. Uh, <laughs> it was actually uncomfortable the whole time. Yeah, dude. Like what? Yes. <laughs> That is a dirty trick. No, I'm just not telling you about this at all. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> He'll never watch. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, never I, see this I just did the bracket and I watched him leave and I was like, nice. Thank God I'm not going to tell him that uh-huh. I'm going in to gain it. <laughs> uh, he's obviously joking. KFC is a supportive guy as well. New tats on the boys, I see. I fucking, f- I, yeah. dude, I didn't know it was a shorts episode. I, I got ink. I can try. I might do the whole thing with roll my it pants up. and my ankles. Yeah, roll yeah. up. Do you have ink? I got the leg ink, yeah. You're a quarter of the way there with those capris. They're not capris. They're actually fucking. Does your dad know he has a capri son? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually used oh, to, shit. uh, I used to do, um, oh. Uh, I was just. I'm just looking at your dick. I was looking at the dick. <laughs> oh my god! I, pre-tattoos. Stand sure. Um, the uh, the uh, I used to wear capris in middle school. To be honest, 
This is also I forgot about my varicose vein when I took my pants down. <laughs> Dude, I, for, I forgot you're like a, a menopausal woman. Bro, I just <laughs> sprouted a varicose vein one Who day. does like, that? If oh, you're you wondering do. how varicose veins happen, they just pop up. Really? Like, I just like one day woke up and I was like, what the fuck is that? Are you concerned shit? about it? It is serpentine as hell. <laughs> it is like all oh, bro. Yeah, oh yeah, dude. It's gross, man. But like, do we have I, those just lying beneath or what happened there? I don't like one morning, I think it was last summer, I just woke up and I was like, what the fuck? And now I just have like this vein. It's kind of a muscular look. Kind not really though. Like it definitely looks like it looks like a yeah. An old woman in like yeah. in a bathing suit. Are you worried about like knees. like Pinching it off. Oh, I don't. Something? I don't keep my keys in that pocket anymore. Really? That, if that's that's the biggest change <laughs> you had to make. What if I just fucking? I guess I'm a carabiner off. guy now. <laughs> I'm wearing a fanny pack. Have you seen Stallone's on his pec? Sylvester? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> no, oh no. Who called? Who called? <laughs> Wait. No. I think Stallone's normal. Who do you? What do you call him? Sly. 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 <laughs> no, Sly is cool. I was gonna pull my pants up. But his is not, crazy, crazy <laughs> on his pack. It looks like the Mississippi Delta. Well, like, his, it's it's nuts. Do you do steroids? Do I? Yeah. I don't currently. I have. Okay. Well, I, so that's probably not it. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did Anavar once. Um, you said you were hard as a rock. Yeah, dude. Like. You're just fucking strong, bro. Like, bro, I couldn't do any chin-ups. I could never do pull-ups, anything like that. I couldn't do pull-ups. I took, like, two Anavar, woke up in the morning, and was just ripping, like, 14. It's, wait, it was instant? Like, it's, it was... Wait, what do you mean took? It's like a It was... I, I, I don't know if it comes the other way. I took it orally. I did I did Anavar no, orally. Go figure. <laughs> go fucking figure. <laughs> I did I did Anavar, and I did Winstrol. I did Winstrol more recently. I did Anavar That's what gets you hard, right? Like, uh, like, yeah. Like, like, just always hard? Really, like... Just, like, really? like I was just like touching myself all the time. I was really? Like, I, I, dude, I was super gay nice. for myself. Yeah, I was like, oh boy, you that are sounds fantastic. Cut from stone, but dude. did you ever have to put any of those in uh, into a syringe or anything like that? No, I never did. Any That's injections. my biggest fear. I don't yeah. like injections. We went at all. to Stu's house today, and he like showed us his gym, and there were two boxes of clean. Clean syringes, <laughs> yes. right there. Which could have been for anything. They probably but, have diabetes. No, right. <laughs> Something like but that. But you, you were. I saw it, and I was just like, okay, I'm not going to bring it up. It's like, it's if, if you find something weird at somebody's house, I don't typically bring it up. And you're like, oh, syringes. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, who knows what they're injecting? And you said heroin. <laughs> and he goes, not that. So. That's what Stu said? Yeah. So, yeah. Stu does tea, though, right? Stu gets teed up. Oh, it he? could just be tea, or it could be, uh, what's the other shit? Ozempic? It could be Ozempic. Ozempic. Could be a, how do you, Ozempic? How I does that was like an EpiPen. I have no knowledge of it. I, th I thought, because I, I, I got, I get Instagram ads sometimes, which is really fucked up. I get Instagram ads sometimes for like the Ozempic alternative, and it looks like a, it looks like it's like a kind of pen deal. Like a, there's yeah. TV commercials for it too. I think they have a good jingle. I'm trying. What is the fucking Ozempic jingle though? You're not fat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to write. That would be that'd be all. I couldn't rhyme like you. Your on the ambition fly. is gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Is they Dude, doing? Dana's on Ozempic now. What? Yeah. 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 But like he still look, it's not, it's not taken. <laughs> no, I think I think <laughs> the Ozempic he's taking has like a lot of calories. <laughs> yeah. Like it, it's Dude, not. We were just talking in the bracket that he's. I don't think anyone here is going to be able to understand this play. But you ever like had your boxers? You're so fat when you sit down, and they kind of roll. They over, flip over, and it kind of yes, yes, makes yes. a yeah. snap down. It, I said it sounds like when you put on like the snap. Yeah, I said, dude. <laughs> and, and he's like, he's like, it's still happening all the time. So I don't think the Ozempics work. Because he's having happen. seconds of Ozempic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> they need backup. Yeah. Oh man, dude. The, the the before the bracket started, he went. I don't want to say anything stupid this episode. And I swear to God, the first thing he said on the episode was, so Abraham Lincoln, he was like a good guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was a Sith. <laughs> he was on the dark side. <laughs> it depends who you ask. Yeah. <laughs> oh, freaking Republicans, too, dude. Man. Bro, speaking of Republicans. What about Republicans? Do we love that song or what? What's the Republican? Oh, that Rich red Man guy? North, Rich Man North of Richmond is a fucking... I yeah. think the lyrics are a little... Dude. <laughs> love you love that guy? Oh, for Anthony, dude. He's putting on for the boys. <laughs> well, you, got, you guys, Reds. you're not as red as him, I'm but not, he is, no. he's as red as you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that might be my father. I don't know. <laughs> my dad doesn't have red hair. What's your dad have? Uh, black hair. Really? What? Your, your mom have red hair? No. 
Somebody calculate the odds. Wait a minute, buddy. <laughs> it skips a generation, apparently. No, no. It's do, like directly correlated to parents. Blue eyes. What color eyes do they have? I don't know. Not blue. Okay. If it's not blue, it's like a one percent chance. Yeah, it's like, dude, blue already blue. you being a redhead with two non-redhead parents is nuts. Yeah, and I have the blonde eyebrows. But Oliver Anthony is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't, no, don't. You're not. You're not your. Your mom. <laughs> I called her a last episode. Now you're bringing out. But you, you you called her a bitch in like a ter- as a term of endearment. You said that she's one hard. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Which is weird. She's a tough lady. You know the Philly moms are tough. They are tough as hell. Yeah. She, you called her in the middle of a bartending shift, and yeah. she does it for fun. Does she have? She have a nice short haircut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know her. You know. Her. They're speaking. They're speaking Philly to each other. <laughs> You've seen that, John. There's like well, a Philly mom haircut. It's fucking. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe it's Universal Mom, but I think there's a Philly mom haircut. She she like goes into the Philly mom haircut every like quarter or so, and then she'll grow it out. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. It, it, What's the Philly mom haircut? What's the stereotypical Philly mom? It's like uh, someone like, the, dude, Kate's. Kate. Kate's Kate. starting to kind of bleed into it. Someone who's like, like Han, like kind of a lot of side to side movement, calling people Han all the time and shit oh, like that. Yeah. Hey, Han, like, hey, you, get, you just get something to eat. <laughs> it's that kind of that vibe. Is that is that your mom or she's tougher than that? No, she. that's my mom. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's tough as hell, though. She'll, that's, that's she'll smack. Philly mom. Have you ever seen your mom in a fist fight? No. Okay. No, thank you. No, I don't know what I'd bad, think about my mom if I saw her just throwing hands. <laughs> I don't think my mom could, dude. I think my mom's getting fucking washed. I, I think my mom could throw a hand or two. I don't think she has. I don't think she does. But I think she's, I think my mom's one hard bitch. I think mm-hmm. she would, smokes cigs. Yeah. You, no. Okay. No, 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 no. She's like a straight edge. But I think <laughs> she, she, yeah. she have X's on the hands. <laughs> yeah. Do sisters fight like brothers? Like, do sisters brawl out? Mm. Mm. I got two sisters. I don't recall them ever. They never fought with no. one another. Yeah, I don't think they. Pro- they're, they're more like mental warfare or chemical. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, switching out some hair dye or something. Yeah, pretty hair in the shampoo. If you found out a girl you were dating, or if, or like a girl you were like fucking hard, like a girl you're jackhammer fucking. Yeah, if nice. you ever found out that she was like gut thin because of Ozempic, would you be bothered? No, because it's a time bomb for it to just, just come back, right? That's like the truth of anyone could be like that. If anyone that gets skinny. But isn't it isn't it like uh, similar to steroids, though, right? Like it's like you're going to lose the effects unless you keep on taking it and continuing to take it will be dangerous. Or is it not? Or it wouldn't be. I don't think it's like a rubber band where like once you let go, it just snaps back. Like once you're skinny, I think you're skinny. Right. Unless you keep. I I heard when you stop Ozempic it, you inflate back up pretty quick. And a lot of people that stop it end up weighing more than when they started. Holy fuck. How do you guys know so much about Ozempic? Is Ozempic I think it's intriguing. If you took Ozempic, you we're, we're, we've cured obesity. Adam. It's crazy. And Oh, it's like the people that get uh, gastric bypass. And they stretch their stomach back out. Yep. Yeah. But, but if the, you just can beat obesity, that is fucking sick. If, if it just works, what if it just works forever? Yeah, yeah can you not stop? Can you, I think you have, you have to, to keep thing? doing it forever, yeah. right? But that's like any pill, right? Not any, but a lot of pills. Like, say you're dating a girl who's got a couple screws loose. And you know, but she found Can't a medication. She, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she found a medication that helps her equalize in the brain. Yeah, you got to stay on sto- that shit. If she stopped taking it, and she goes, might con- snap back. Like, right. Con- so con- it's yeah. kind of something yeah. you have to think about. <laughs> yeah. Can you take steroids? Same for girls with their dudes. Can Not you take steroids forever? Oh, um, Larry King did. Didn't he take uh, steroids? I think Larry King was very big proponent of at least HGH. Really? I, I guess, right? Like, I mean, everyone, I think it's a pretty popular thing now, like low T, and they have like testosterone pills. It's all steroid at, at some level. So I think, yeah. I, if you can, can you keep shooting, shooting like Russian windstall on your ass? Probably not. But I think, that I good think Russian you can take shit. something. That good, that, dude, we, when we got Russian windstall, where, how do you get it? Dude, I had Lou get it. I don't know how he got it. <laughs> <laughs> but he got it pretty easily. And he, he's like, I got it. Don't he probably it. has a Philly mom that he's going back to. <laughs> yeah. Dude, if anyone has a Philly mom, dude, Lou has some. But we had it We had it delivered to the office in Milton because we lived together at the time. And we didn't want to get it delivered to the house because we were like, we don't know how it shows up. And we want we want people around. We want deniability. Be like, we don't know what the fuck. This is someone wants to send it to the a office. Gift? Like, yeah. Like, take it. If the, if the, if the police are the ones who knock and like, we got your windstroll. And we're like, ah, people must have fucked around with us and send it to the office. I, that probably wouldn't have held up in the court of law. Nah. But yeah. it would have gotten us out of an awkward conversation. And that's really more important. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, all right, oh, well, yeah. we'll get into it further. If I, yeah, I would rather just go to jail for like a week than talk to a cop. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, I get so nervous. 
around anything. I've gotten worse as I age, like phone calls, interacting with strangers. I I'm not good at it anymore. I I actually I think I've gotten better phone calls at least specific. Do you like it? I enjoy a phone call much more than a text message. I, if I get a phone call, I automatically assume it's going to be something that's inconvenient or bad. Me I too. Think, Me too. I, I'm in the same boat. Yeah. But I think they're just the, and, and I've been saying this for a little while now, but I just think a phone call, I think back in the day when we used to text, it was like we were in high school, college, and you could just kind of talk all day. I don't have the the energy, the stamina for that anymore. So it's, I can't do in, in indefinite conversations where there's no hello, goodbye. The phone call facilitates that where it's what's up. What do you need? If you want, if you want to say, yo, meet me at blank at blank, fine. But if you're like, Hey, how's the day going? Hey, what's up? I got no interest in that. Owen fucking Rotor. He'll always just send a first yo. Oh. Mm. Hate it. And I call him out every time. I say, stop it. But then he just won't respond for a while. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, stop it. So you just mm. need the information right away is what you're saying. I don't want I don't want pleasantries and text message. I've gotten the hey, what's up for him and then left on red for two days. <laughs> yeah. like, what, what, what did you want? <laughs> That's alpha as fuck. Yeah. I, uh, I asked him to hop on this episode, I think. Yeah. Uh, but he's out. Um, but he said yes. And then the next day he was like, hey, bad news. And then just didn't respond. I was like, what the what? fuck, dude? It was because he, he couldn't come on. <laughs> he's, doing, he's doing warfare. He's Yeah. Yeah, he's a sick puppy. He's like the Joker. That when you get the na- your first name too, it's just like John. I'm like, <laughs> what? What do you want? And I understand what you're trying to do. You're trying to make this theatrical and dramatic and all that. Just put a few enters after. So I'll be I'll read it as John, but then I can get to what you fucking want. Do you guys text Jersey Jerry? No. He's a big name and text guy. He's yeah. just, he'll just text yeah. you Nick. No, 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 no. He'll throw your name just yeah. in there. Oh, hey, okay. Nick. I like yeah. that. Continue. I like that. But he sent me one. I hope this isn't. He probably won't care. Uh, 314 a.m. <laughs> he met he met my dad uh, when I was in the softball game with the Steelers. Right. Uh, talked to him again with you uh, at Rough and Rowdy. Gave my, my dad said he had a great time. Great guy. We had a great time. But that that night, 314 a.m. Sorry, it's so late, dude. I really wouldn't do this, but I can't sleep. I'm just so confused. Is your dad straight or is he gay? (laughs) (laughs) It was like ruining his life. Because I just fucked him. <laughs> that's why. No, and that's I why. still can't figure it out. No, and, and like, usually he has the fellas screaming, but yeah, he yeah. Did. Yeah. my dad didn't fuck like a yeah, gay. Yeah. <laughs> he like that. That's fucking I funny. Can't make <laughs> fucking a dude straightly. He's like, Do I, is there something you're not telling me? Out. <laughs> yeah. It's a union pipe. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Where was he? He was at Rough and Rowdy just looking at his hotel ceiling. I don't know. He, yeah, probably. I just like to think he was like laying hands on his chest. <sighs> Couldn't get a fucking he wink like, of sleep. He like works out the text, deletes it all. <laughs> Said no. Yo. Go, oh, no, you're good. Who was that? Damn. That was Big Cat. Oh. Should I tell him to come in? Just for the thumbnail. Yeah, pop in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We'll, ha- well, Big uh, Cat. we'll have Reed. Uh, Reed's going to meet with him. Oh, man. Fuck yeah. Do you guys uh, do you guys uh, catch up with your friends on the phone? Do you uh, talk in like uh, yeah. just bullshit? Like so I, I do it. I like package it all like me and one of my buddies will talk once a month for like 45 minutes and just get it all out of the way in one HBO miniseries. And then is it a talk. dense conversation or are you just bullshitting like um, it's pretty dense? Yeah. Finding out news about one another's lives. Yeah. And he, he is. He started a shoe company. And so he's a shoemaker. So there's a lot. Cobbler. Of, he's a mm-hmm. cobbler. Yeah. So that's what I'd be in like medieval times. People always like to fantasize like I'd be a knight. <laughs> I know my, I wouldn't even be a blacksmith. Yeah, uh, you'd be the guy where you, you would look great in a pillowcase. <laughs> A pill- like a, the what? Wait, like a a sack? I'd be a cobbler, yeah. not a, a pillow. Sack? Yeah, like a burlap sack. Yeah. I said cobbler, not pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I believe those are the only things that wear pillowcases or bars of soap. If no, you're, yeah, no, you would just have like a big in the military. As, like, I could or racist. You. You'd be a good peasant. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be a surfs up, dude. I yeah. would be a big <laughs> dude. I'm, I give off the biggest gatherer energy ever. Yeah. Like Roan would be out fucking. No, no, you'd no, be no, with I'd me. Be you'd be with me in the briar patches. Over, like bad back. Oh. <laughs> Sucking the blood. Just like some tiny Oh, it's girl. just berry juice. Yeah. <laughs> gathering so much like, more berries. Fidelberg would be chasing buffaloes off cliffs. Rudy would be chasing buffaloes. No, Rudy would be like. 
Rudy would go off the cliff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I would absolutely fall off the cliff. As well. No, I think out of all of us, you'd be the best caveman. I mean, that is a really high compliment. <laughs> yeah. It's I see a picture of you shitting outdoors. I, I take that. Yeah. I like that. Dude, were there assholes ever comfy? Not once, probably. I argue they're more comfy than ours. Well, they didn't have the luxury of sitting <laughs> on something minute. nice. Wait a minute. This is the... You and I have had spirited conversations, debates. This is the most, like, you're vehemently, <laughs> you think they'd have a comfier ass? I think they got less encumberment. I think they got, well, no, they weren't wearing loincloths. What were they wearing back then? Nothing, I don't think. And they didn't have cushions for sure, but they also weren't sitting on toilet seats for a long time. So they were just like, squat to shit, stand up, get out of there. Also, yeah, yeah their, their shits had to have been pretty dry with their diet, right? No processed foods. No. Okay. They still got diarrhea. Mook, can you Google like caveman sh shit? Did caveman <laughs> get diarrhea? <laughs> the first dude who got diarrhea had to have been freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if he was black. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they got diarrhea. Oh, yeah. No way. <laughs> they got a lot of uh, parasites, apparently. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that, and that used to kill them, right? That was That's that the dysentery, take, right? That would take them out, yeah. Yeah. And they're just eating raw meat and like fungi. They're just like plucking random berries. Yeah, I guess it was all just trial and error every time you wanted to nosh. <laughs> but they for must have known for other hundreds shit. of years they didn't eat tomatoes because they were like, it's red. And then one guy was like, fuck it, dude. And he's like, oh, these are awesome. Or the first guy that ate it was allergic. <laughs> that possibly true. Yeah. Was it's Tom right? Brady. Yeah. yeah. Like an inflammatory. Yeah. Um, today's episode is also brought to you by Game Time. Oh my God. I used Game Time when I was in Chicago for a preseason game. Have you guys ever been to a preseason game? I believe yeah. that I have actually. Seats were good. Everything else. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> um, but it's created by fans for fans. Game Time's a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute ticket deals. Uh, sports, concert shows, guarantee the lowest price. Uh, it's possible with the Game Time app. Last minute price drops. Uh, you, you can go see SZA. I can go see SZA, and I will go see SZA. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, uh, I'm thinking of Sia. But SZA as well is nice. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you can go see Sia, too. That's the magic of game time. Skip the hassle, enjoy the moment, download the game time app, go to the website, enter your email and redeem code UNTOLD, U-N-T-O-L-D, for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Mook here, reporting live from Boss Man's office, just to let you know that Game Time is the best ticketing app in the game. I'll be using it September 25th in Tampa to see the Eagles play the Buccaneers and wax them with code UNTOLD for $20 off. That's right, code UNTOLD for $20 off. Download Game Time right now. Hell yes. I got a conundrum with a, a friend of mine. Maybe you guys could help me out with this. Sure, yeah. Um, this dude... Uh, a couple months ago, he's not a dir direct friend, friend of friend. He uh, he found out that he was uh, he was sick and like it wasn't looking good for him. And like he had a diagnosis like it like he had maybe six months to live or something like that. A friend of a friend. That's a true story. And so we started like hanging out um, and like going to a bunch of events and having like, like reconnecting, like making sure I stayed in touch, always checking in on him and like all of his boys just to see what's good. And, uh, now he's just not sick anymore. Oh. And oh. I kind of want my time back, dude. I kind of want my did, fucking did you, fun back that I had with this guy because he's, he's just fine now. And now I'm friends with him. We're communicating. Like, what were you guys time? doing? Like nah. skydiving, rocky, rocky mountain climbing? Dude, I put 6.7 <laughs> seconds on a horse named Fu Manchu. <laughs> God damn. You wouldn't believe it. dude. dude. It, I, I, I just don't know how to handle it because we're, we have the hooks in, in one another and uh, he's just fine now. What if he's just like not as fun now? Just like, dude, I liked you more when you were dying. <laughs> <laughs> it is, dude. That's the problem. There was like a finality to like the our our hangouts that it was like, okay, we need to have the fucking funnest time possible. Yeah. And now it's just like, all right, we could just do it again like next week, bro. Like this is a whole different. Yeah, you were doing like a two minute drill. Now it's like the regular season. <laughs> yeah, it's every, the preseason. <laughs> plenty of fucking time. Uh, you could ch ch check me on this. A lot of episodes. Every crew needs a dying homie. Yes, and a paraplegic. Dude. You yeah. Need both. yeah, you're rolling around with the cover of a health book squad. <laughs> yeah, you do. But you also said that like you weren't that close before. Not that close, but you'd, you'd separated it. It was like a friend. No, it was a friend of a friend who I met on a couple occasions. And my, my boy was like, yes, this is going on. And so we're like, OK, let's make it like let's, let's go out with a bang and like do some fun stuff. And so yeah. I think that's tough where you're like, like I have all the friends I need. Yeah. Right? Are, you, are you done? We're like, yeah, hundred percent. We're like, I got it. But if like a friend of a friend was dying, 
I'd be like, we'll bring him in now, right? Like he, can yeah, come you could in, bring him in, right? Because it's, it's like it's like driving a short distance. You don't we'll have pile a, in for yeah. a little bit. We're not going very far. <laughs> yeah, but like if I knew we we're driving <laughs> for now, for fucking forty years. Because I'm sure you like, like you could bring him in because like you already have your groomsman figured out. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. And it's like you don't have to add that problem, <laughs> right? And now you have a new guy who's in the car for the rest of the drive. This and dude's going like, to be at your wedding as a picture for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is But it's good to tell. It's like fun to tell other people. It's like, "Yo, this guy like, you know, let's have some fun cuz you know, you never know." Everybody lets loose. Yeah, you let loose a little bit more. It was like a key for a little bit. Did he get laid a lot? It was like I think it, I I don't know the specifics, but I think it was helpful. Yeah. I no. think that it was I think girls was, don't want their last sexual partner to be dead. They don't want dying dick. They don't want haunted pussy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever fucked haunted pussy? No. It's horrible. Ah. Uh, that problem. Yeah. What? <laughs> Is it not that bad? Uh, it's pretty. pretty good. Uh, <laughs> you'd be surprised. Good. As soon as a you different, finish, a different kind of haunted. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> possessed? <laughs> Just something died in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your erection probably. <laughs> yeah. uh. Oh my god! You ever had a friend who had to fucking get taken care of? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so have you voiced this at all to him in terms of like God no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, what do you do? But no. now is he just still like hanging around? Um yeah, yeah, like or like I don't see like see him a ton, but it's like corresponding, you know what I mean, a bunch. And every it's... time he coughs around you, you're just like <gasps> <laughs> Is this maybe it? so? Uh, yeah. Yeah, bro, what if you just start poisoning him? Just to be like, hey, like let's get see see it through, like yeah, in the sixth right? sense, like, just we, pouring Drano and th- yeah, yeah. six sense thing. is exactly what I was picturing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Feel like you gotta stand up. Let's oh. fucking go. <laughs> I, I love when Moody, yep. Yeah. Moody, yeah. No one really knows. No yeah, I I, I, I truly about. don't know what to do. I guess I just have to. I just have to. Like we're squeezed in for the whole fucking gotta, ride now. Yeah, I guess tighten up the legs. Like, right. I don't know. Yeah. So you're done with your friends. You're you've hit the peak. I think so. What I, happens if you meet a fly guy? It's, Are you pissed or do you have to make room? I, I, I guess out? like I'd have to make room because you can't leave a fly guy on the side of the road. But no. like it is it's because I had a very similar situation. Nick was actually with me when it happened mm. where I was walking home. Last week. Yeah. And a woman a few steps ahead of me was like Feidelberg and Tommy. We were with Tommy as well. And he, Tommy did something kind of weird. He pulled me aside and he said, I bet John fucked her. <laughs> <laughs> what, dude? <laughs> and that was uh, definitely, that was a perfect Tommy. That was yeah. exactly, uh-huh. exactly what he said and how we moved. It was something <laughs> along the lines of like, oh, awkward. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't recognize her. And I was like, oh boy, did I? Like, <laughs> did I, I was like, oh, this girl. And then we're talking and she's like, I, it's like, sometimes you don't know if it's a fan or whatever. So we're talking for a minute and I'm like, all right, we've passed fandom. Like they haven't said like, I'm a fan yet. So it's not a fan. So I was like, who the fuck is this person? And then she's like, do you still, do you live here? Like, where's your address or like what corner of what and what? And I was like, yeah. And then we talked for probably like, I don't, it felt like an eternity, but we talked for like three minutes, maybe two minutes, whatever it was. And halfway through i realized this is my dead friend's Mm ex-girlfriend and (laughs) and i was like but then i couldn't remember her name exactly so i was like i'm just gonna shut up ex because he died or because they broke up Uh, they broke up like a little bit they were kind of like figuring things out maybe a little bit then he died and now she'll text me she knows where i live and she'll be like you want to grab a drink and i'm like have you done it i have not done it yet and i don't know i'm like i we weren't really like you were his ex. You were his girlfriend. We weren't really friends. And now I don't have room for the new friend. Yeah. Yeah. And a girlfriend at that. And a girlfriend at that. It's just and different. I but like you, having girlfriends. But we didn't have the moments you had where like I can kind of just be like, ah, I'm busy tonight. Yeah. I can't really. But you can't get out of that with like. What can I say? Made but, time. But but if she, like is she. uh if she was together with him when he passed, I feel like you would have the obligation to hang out and everything. But yeah. since they had broken up, you kind of have impunity. I think so. And also we weren't like we I lived in New York when they were 
together. So like it wasn't like your boy's girl in high school who you were always together. Like I met her a time or two. Yeah. It oh, but no, you owe nothing. Yeah. You it, owe nothing. It, well, I met her maybe maybe two is an understatement, but under five. I was under five. We hung out. The moral of the story is if you go up to Feidelberg in public and don't say you're a fan, he'll tell you his address. <laughs> <laughs> it's as simple as that. Did, did you overhear that? Where no, I, no. So I noticed that you didn't quite know who it was. So I was like, let's step away because I didn't want you to have to introduce us to somebody that you couldn't say their name. Which was a great bro move. Thank I, you. Because I, I, I looked over to introduce you guys and I was like, fuck it, they're too far away. My dad says Kia, like the brand of a car. If he, if my mom's talking to somebody who doesn't know the name. So he t- it's like I was trained to step <laughs> away with it. my dad. And he just goes, Kia, Kia. And yeah. we step away. We step away. It's been like that since I was a kid. I That's like fucking smart. Mm-hmm. The move is you introduce the person. You're like, oh, by the way, this is Nick. And then and she says the name to you. Mm-hmm. Then she says the name to Nick. I, I don't think it's ever happened to me, but I've always had the fear of that person just digging in their heels. And <laughs> like, they, cause I'm always like, they know I don't know their name. I can, they, like, I, I don't know whether that's true, but like in my head, I'm like, they fucking know you don't know their name and they're going to bite their tongue and just wait for you to say it. <laughs> and that happening would, I think I would just fall apart. I think I would die. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, and this is, I'm sorry. I know we've been talking for five minutes. Larry David get 30 minutes out of that right there. Yeah, that's an episode. Yeah. That's an episode. That's a season. Yeah. Yeah. My my dad used the word Kia for me us to get away from people that he didn't know the name, so he didn't have to introduce us. But he also had the word NACE, N-A-C-E. And that meant stronger than no. So if he said NACE, you walked away from him. No. So like I'll be like, Dad, can I go to Chuck E. Cheese's? And he was like excited to say it. And he just go, NACE. <laughs> and so that's always been a thing. I wonder if I can Jesus. get him to say it. That is. What the fuck? Dude, I like that. That's too. like what you do to a dog. <laughs> nice. He made up a sw- word stronger than no. For yeah. You? He said there is no word. Strong- yeah. I don't know. Why I, couldn't no suffice? Because he just I don't know. He had a son who wanted to spend time with him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I, I, I've had, I, I don't get it much anymore because well, I don't ask need- for much. I, I can't wait to. You know, some guys want to beat the shit out of their dad and like, yo. Yo. Hey, you're on anus. Um, oh my! Hey, what's uh, what's a word stronger than no? Nice. Yeah, all right, thank you. <laughs> all right, love you, Dad. So we, I heard that all the time, and I just thought that was a word, like an English word, until like college. And I said it to somebody, they were like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "What are you moron?" It means stronger than no. It sounds medieval, though. It yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah. It's got that mace to it. But like, you know how some guys are just like, I can't wait till the day like I can beat my dad in a fight. I can't wait for the day I beat him in basketball. And the day I can nace my dad will be the best day. That's when that's when I am the, the patriarch of that. What home. does he want? What do, what can you have that he'll ask for? What's something that you could flip the power I dynamic? Know. I don't know. I don't what know. Do you have that he seeks nothing. It's going to take a long time. It's, it's going to take got, a it's long time. It's going to have to be some time. like geriatric. He's got to be elderly. Like, yeah. hey, can you bring groceries? Yeah. <laughs> but then nace. I just will. <laughs> Imagine nacing medicine. your father. <laughs> nace. I think oh, I, I don't think sons can nace a father. I you definitely can. You yeah. just he, fights is right. You got to wait for his week and you got to make sure that it lands well because he's going to chirp you if you like lick it. Like what? Like you should whisper it almost. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Like yeah. if we're getting wings and I, I like I was like, you should get this flavor and he doesn't. And then he asks for one of mine. That would be the perfect situation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That would be. Yeah. yeah. That would be. Harmless. <laughs> Why did he need codes like Kia and Nace, though? Why couldn't he just be like. Dad's a weird dude. <laughs> Real weird dude. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but I respect the hell out of him. He's happy go lucky, dude. He's like a modern man, but I feel like his friends are, uh, they look like extras from the town, kind of. My dad's friends? <laughs> yeah, or the one. Where my dad's from, he calls it the ton. He's from Weirton. Uh, uh, and yeah, they're all, it's like, a, it's a, it's a, mo- it's a mob town. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Interesting. There's a ton of Italians up in like the northern panhandle of West Virginia. Yeah, his boy was wiry. He had a boy with him. Yeah, was he with John? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, It's one of his lankier homies. (laughs) (laughs) But my dad has some of the lankiest guys. Really? Yeah. He's a type. All of their, (laughs) all of my dad's friends have a, uh, go by a nickname that's just a descriptor for their penis. (laughs) Like what's, what are some examples? One of my dad's best friend is Stick. Um... (laughs) His I left. found out my, they called my dad lefty. And I was like, you're right handed, dude. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, oh, shit. He's just beating off left handed. No, he's bent. He's bent. <laughs> we had a buddy in high school with giraffe. Uh, Dr- giraffe? Sorry, zebra. Zebra. 
Um, <laughs> it, it, oh, so it went from a long ass long, dick to black. Was, <laughs> he just had like this, this. His dick was like multicolored. Uh, there, like, there's a porn star who has a multicolored. It was dick. like we Ken be Jack like, would know. We, we'd like tell him like stretch it out. It's because we because it would this, the the things would get wider so you could see it more clear. <laughs> you could count how yeah it's like a tree. <laughs> yeah. We'd be in the locker room. We'd be like, like, Yo, it's pull it and he'd pull it up. And what colors like, are we talking? Yeah, yeah. It, it was like alternating. Like um, it was only two. It was like pink and white. And it was like a color dream scrote <laughs> Neapolitan ice cream type deal where like it was very even square, square, square. square. Really? Yeah. I had one wild. homie that had one, one stripe. Yeah. One. Yeah. Like an earthworm. Like, yeah. I, we always just thought that God just like got lazy on like the welding or like <laughs> he didn't like sandpaper. It well. Do all my dicks one color. I don't really. Uh, no, I go. I, I guess I got kind of a three. What? Yeah, we're like it's like the I'm circumcised, so uh, the head's one color, and then there's like wherever they fucking snipped it, whatever yep. happens. Yeah, yeah, there. sure, but yeah. I think mine's still mine's kind of ombre. Yeah, 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 yeah. A gradient. Right. Yeah. Mine's like the West Coast gradient, custom yes. one where you drive past it and it changes. Color. Yeah, <laughs> you got the chameleon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just a little yeah, bit different. Yeah, it's like a mood ring. Yeah. It looks black from far away. <laughs> My yeah. shaft is yeah. F- fluorescent. Yeah. 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 It's the whitest part of my body. Like yeah. one of those influencer tube lights. I'll exactly. say this, yeah. like well, Dr. Manhattan. I don't know what that is. His blue sure. dick. Yeah. His dick is just blue. Huge too. Yeah. yeah. Huge. No. Well, I mean, he was big and he was like 19 feet tall. And he was, but he was hung. He yeah, was he had a big 19 dick. feet. He had yeah. a big dick. Even for 19 feet. Yeah. Hung for 19 feet is a big dick. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. what would be a, like, what would be a proportionate dick for a 19 foot man? Well, okay. What percentage of you are dick? What percentage of Roan is dick? How tall are you, Roan? Six two. Probably six. Probably six foot. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Don't, Roan's six don't, five. Don't massage the numbers. It's not accounting. <laughs> probably, probably, I'm like five seven. <laughs> <laughs> That's a I actually that's, I un- like- that's uncomfortable. I want you to talk about your dick size. Let's do a Feidelberg. Uh, <laughs> okay, if you're sick, okay, never mind. I'll I'll save the math. No, no, go ahead. Okay, it's dick math. So if you're six foot tall, you're seventy two inches. Okay, save a five inch dick. Yeah, it's fourteen percent of your body. No way. That, that can't that, be. That, that, not, that, that's way higher. Dude, I would have guessed I'm 3% dick. L- I, I, lengthwise. Lengthwise. Yeah, 14%? Yeah, that's just math. It's like five inches divided by seven. I'm so bad at math, but like even that, that seems still not math. That important. seems really big, that right? Seems, yeah, that's way Over out. 10% of you are, is dick? So Dr. Manhattan would have an over one, like over a foot dick. But like. Over yeah. a foot long dick. Right, but that would be like 20% of him would be dick. That can't be. If you break up someone like this and 20% of them is dick. Oh, fuck. I fucked that up. Yeah, yeah no dude. Way it's 14%. Yeah. Yep, I fucked that up. That It is 0.07%. Makes a lot more <laughs> sense. <laughs> I, I haven't practiced the counting in a while. Oh, my God. I'm rusty. I'm rusty. I'm I sorry. Like, I was out here thinking 14% dick was the norm. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. 14% dick Less is Less than hilarious. a percentage. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank means- God. Like, Reed's grabbing his heart. <laughs> <sighs> Bro, when you said 14, like, no. I, it's one of, like, I'm so bad at math that I'm like, he must be right. There's I thought it was one, one of those weird things. There's no way the percentage can outweigh the inches. Wait, what? Like, you Oh, yeah, yeah. Great yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. I, Great that point. was such a botch on my end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wish you hadn't said anything because we felt all of us were dreading the real number, which was lower than I thought. I was thinking like 3%. 0.7 <laughs> is shocking. I, I was thinking That's sub one. like Ralph Nader. Is it definitely polling. 0.7 or is it 7%? So 72 inches, right? Five inches divided by 72. 0.07. Yeah. So that's but you times it by 100? That's 0. 0.07. Isn't that how you do it? Times it by 100? Times it by 100. Oh, 7%. Okay, seven percent dick. dick. That sounds way You've more. Been out of accounting for yeah. like less than a year. <laughs> aren't you? Who are, aren't you helping somebody within their office with taxes? Yeah. They're oh involved. God, they're, they're in jail now. <laughs> Donnie's going to prison. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to see like some nineteen percenters in there. <laughs> what yeah. Dude, that's okay. what the what's, so what are, what's that gang the that three wears percenters? <laughs> <laughs> that's what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the dying dick Those dudes are fucking. We're three percenters. Are they so, scary? I don't know anything about them. I just, oh, I've never heard of them until right now. But they're the fucking meat wagon. It sounds like three percenters. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, no, no, no. That's no, a small, dick. Yeah, small, dick, yeah. small dick. Yeah. 
But uh, within the like the Patriots like drafted a kicker who was like a three percent or yes. like a three percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From, it's like uh, it's a Nazi equivalent, is it not? It? Was he Marshall's kicker? I think yeah. something like that. Yeah, West Virginia boy, Huntington. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Oh wow, that's fucked. You can't yeah. blame him though. The um, you said something earlier where you you didn't you thought Chase was a word until you were in college. Nace, Nace. I'm sorry, Chase Nace. is a common common word. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure did you were an idiot until no, you, you thought go? chase was a thing i'm good are you sure yes the um i i when i was young like elementary school really really young i hung out with a family that liked to throw racial stores around and, <laughs> and and so i came home one day and i wanted chinese food for dinner and i said can i have Mom, can we get think this? of a weakness in armor? <laughs> I was like, can we get blank food for dinner? And she was like, what the fuck did you just say? And I was like, I it's just what his parents called it. I was like, I don't know. I was like, can we get uh, blank food for dinner? And she was like, do you have any idea what that means? And I was like, yeah, it means egg food. rolls. <laughs> yeah, like, can I get yeah mom. And instead of taking that moment to have an interesting conversation about race and she made you smoke a hundred of them <laughs> she went that means penis <laughs> and, what and i was like what and she's like you want penis food for dinner and i was like no why the fuck did they eat that and until i got to college i thought because like no one it's not a word that's used that often so like i didn't really hear it i didn't really yeah say anything. No, and then, no, it's i think it, maybe not even caught maybe it was like 17 and I was like, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> and I thought my whole life that that just meant penis. What the hell? Wow. <laughs> I can't, how does she think on her feet so fast to be able to fuck with you like that? I don't know. That that would be the thing that resonated and made you stop saying the word and stop like was, wanting. She was like, what do you, what do you, you want? Do you want? What are you, gay? <laughs> <laughs> Han Dynasty? Yeah. She, she, call, she called you the F slur in return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm intrigued by like things that like people just didn't never learned. I can't think of any examples, but there's always cases of just like, yeah, I never knew that like wheelbarrow instead of wheelbarrow, like wheelbarrow is the correct term, right? Yes. Yeah. Barrow. It's barrow. Wheelbarrow. Yeah. The thing yes, you push yes. around. Wait, now I don't even know if it it's wheelbarrow. Say. <laughs> wheelbarrow. Yes. No, and what do people say? Barrel. Well, they say wheelbarrow. Uh, yeah. I'm sure Rudy does. <laughs> nah, what? <laughs> That's crazy. That people. Yeah. They fucked that up. It, it's, is it wheelbarrow? Barrow. Barrow. Yep. Yeah. I, I had that with play it by uh play it by I thought it was play it by year. Play it by year? That makes pretty good sense. Yeah. It is play it by year. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, neither makes sense. Is it nip it in the bud? Yes. Okay, so a lot of people say butt. That's like when you're trimming rose buds. Abortion. Abortion. <laughs> I still don't know if it's chomping or champing at the bit. Champing. Whoa, champing. it is? Yeah. It's pronounced chomping though. Well, oh, that's you spelled, pronounce it chomping? It's spelled, it's spelled C-H-A-M-P-I-N-G, but it's pronounced, like, you, like you're chomping. I'm it. tired of people, oh, like, the guy that invented the GIF I think I'm said sure. it's pronounced GIF. Yes. But it's a, dude, this, is this podcast in 2005 right yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> that's the, let's talk about factor. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Uh, with busy fall season just around the corner, you might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals, jam-packed for jam-packed days. Uh, refresh your healthy habits without missing a beat. Choose from 34 weekly flavor packet, dietitian approved meals, ready to eat in two minutes. You can get the gourmet plus options prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time. Treat yourself to upscale meals and premium ingredients like broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, and asparagus. Uh, it's August. This August, get factor. Enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals. Enjoy fresh factor packed meals delivered to your door. Rowan, what's your favorite food? I love chicken. They got that. What? Mm -hmm. No. Holy crap. Oh, what's yours, Feidelberg? Chicken. They got it. They got it. Still yeah, yeah, they, they got, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They have all the chicken. Uh, head to factormeals.com slash KB50. Then use code KB50 <laughs> to get 50% off. That's He has less letters in his name. That's code. It's <laughs> so easy. It is, KB50 for, by Factor Meals. Uh, at factormeals.com slash KB50 for 50% off. Is your promo code ever anus? Yeah. Yeah, it was earlier. Oh, yeah. That's how we know if a brand's cool. If somebody yeah. throws us like story 15. <laughs> but factor is also cool as hell. Well, I, they went KB. Yeah. Because it's so easy to remember and that's it. <laughs> that is tough. I went out doing ad reads. 
very yeah. often it's slash code KFC. And you're like, all right, I know. Yeah, important. right. But <laughs> but uh, that's also just the name of the show. <laughs> <laughs> that's like if this show was called KB. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, if, did you realize that? <laughs> um, uh, I guess yes. <laughs> maybe it stands for the kevin feidelberg and what's c chat well it actually <laughs> we went back when dan was on it forever ago we did fall ass backwards into that where it was cats feidelberg clancy oh but it but was, was that the point of no, it no it was not but it that was, is good yeah, that would be so yeah. funny if kfc was just like i have an idea for a show and it involves all of our names <laughs> let's call it kfc radio <laughs> and people be like whoa they could <laughs> They'll know instantly it's the three of us. <laughs> yeah, KB Duffin needs to name one after him. K- the show? Kyle and Brandon. Just a show called KB. KB. <laughs> That'll be play. a good ass show. I'll watch the shit out of that. What's uh what's the vibe here of the people staying in New York after the rapture? I think it's very good. I think it is too. I think uh I don't know if it would have been as good had Everything happened. I sure. Think, I think had the separation just been. I think we had plans. I don't know if I'm a plans are the right word, but I think we were excited about what we we're going to do here. But I don't know if everyone would have been as excited had the Barstool pen schism not happened. It seems like creativity uh, is at an all time high and it seems like motivation is even higher. I would agree with that. And people are getting on board for shit they wouldn't typically do, which is cool. I think this guy is the thing for that. I think uh, I don't know, I don't know about know. that. I think it's kind of more like when you're like running up like the beaches of Normandy and you see the guy to the left and right of you get shot and you like sh- fight way harder <laughs> and you start running way harder. Am I the shot guy in this situation? <laughs> no, like uh, troops and Josh Prey. You'd be the you'd be the horn guy in the Civil War. Oh, definitely. I'd be a guy. I'd be a bugle guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The bandage around your head. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I'm the type of guy that would get a toothache and wear like the bandana long ways around their head. Guys, I got to go, go, go. Have a good performance. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Ron. See you tomorrow. What songs are you singing? You singing Fast Car? Uh, Can you sing songs? I think we're doing Fat Lip. Oh, nice. Fat Lip. Canadian band, right? Sum 41? Yes. He was one of the people married to Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne, yeah. um, I don't know if they can play songs tomorrow. Why? Because the thing's live streamed, isn't it? Well, they're covers. Yeah, I think I, don't, I actually don't know, but I, it's I like karaoke, right? That that's what I thought. People, I think that might be might be like one of the copyright people we had through Pen was very strict, and I, I think I heard. I think we had an idea for something without a order where it was going to be like some of the copyright people. I'll say it. Uh, they asked us not to wear Nike shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, has, have we, has anybody talked about that publicly? Zoom in here. Um, <laughs> oh, your pants are still off. Huh? Oh, my, have your pants been down the whole episode? Yeah. <laughs> I said I was like I was gonna pull my pants up. But I was not gonna do it. Um, the uh, yeah, the yeah, we got that. No, the, there was like don't tweet the words March Madness. I was like, I think we can do that. I think we can handle March Madness. Yeah, it's a um, personal account. Like, can we yeah, not yeah. do anything? <laughs> um, but there was something where we were gonna have a guest on out of order. And they were a musician, and we were gonna have them sing their own song. And oh, they were, cool! And they were like, "No, you can't do that." <laughs> now the guest ended up falling through, and we didn't have it. Uh, I think we will in the future at some point. But the uh, they were like, "No, nah, that's YouTube's gonna shut that down." I, was like, I just don't think so. I think they can sing their own songs. Before Out of Order started, did you know you were a good actor? Because I think you're the best on the show. <laughs> um, you'll fluctuate weight like Christian Bale in one episode. <laughs> it is fucking nuts. And I would be like, yeah, we shot that all in one day. And I was like, what are you? What? <laughs> it's nuts what you can do to your body. It, it's a, I have a very amorphous body. It just looks- sometimes you walk in and like while we're doing the act, you walk in and you're wearing like a cool shirt. But like your arms are enormous. And then some days you look like um, clay, like yeah. a blob of clay. <laughs> it's, it's very it's, weird. Oh, it's wild. It's very weird. Um, but no, I didn't know anything. I don't know if that is the case, but I'm happy people think it because I, if they do think it, as you're saying, uh, I do 
I act all day, every day. And I always wanted if people believe me. Oh, that's dark. Yeah. yeah. I'm always like, <laughs> dude, dude. Yeah, like, do they believe me that I fucking care about this? <laughs> Maybe they do. So do you, do you know what the real you is like? No. Oh, boy. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Man, not a you point. almost just like let out like a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> 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 the forbidden question. <laughs> we when we were first talking about, this, I bet you'd hate them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I hate every version. Whatever we got right now, not a fan. Um, the uh, I actually hate too strong a word. Well, I just I I I think I'm not my type. Like, <laughs> like I can see how like other people might. You wouldn't like, be like friends it. with you. I don't think I'm my type. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh that's so sad man like it's not it's a, it's i don't hate me but i'm like oh my i could take him or leave him that's oh. for sure holy shit <laughs> um i love how nobody's piping up like me too yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just you dude yeah. <laughs> uh, um oh. the uh i forget what you're we saying but yeah um mook any housekeeping uh no not much you got uh, bodied by an intern. Yeah, I don't. <sighs> you got pushed over real hard and fell on the ground by an intern. I, I kind of want to wait till we get the footage. There's footage on the security camera. Yeah, there's um, content footage. Describe, try to guess the intern that pushed Mook over and no, made him fall. didn't just push. Rung the arm around my neck and took me down like it was WWE. Hit you with a Barbara, uh, yeah. Barbara Walters. Was it Barbara Walters? Is it the same steel? Oh, I have no idea. It was idea. like a clothesline kind of situation. And you went to the ground hard? I went down hard. I'm, I, I, I'm going this was a woman. Yep. yep. Yeah. <laughs> I went down pretty easily. Yeah. Why don't you go grab her? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get her in here to review the tape next week. No, no, no. No, no, no. We'll get her to review the tape next week. Yeah. I emailed all business Pete for the tape. He sent me the wrong tape. So I'm. Did you still look through it? Yeah. 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 Anything good? No. Anything juicy? Nah, no. I'm going to go with uh, Maddie. No. No. I went with Maddie because that's the only one whose name I know. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Anyone? You had to have been so pissed when he was like, nope, try again. <laughs> uh, it was Peyton. Yep. The one that saw you and just laughed on the street. Yep. And she told oh, me. Oh, wait. Hit. Okay. I do know Peyton's name as well. And I know Peyton's name because of that. Yeah. And, and she, she told me to hit the street. gym and there's a whole line and string of L's. But that was a. Uh, yeah, that was a tough one. She's your Helga Pataki. It, it, did she do it intentionally? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that yeah, be, I turned. I mean, she saw just turned out of the, too quickly and her arm hit Mook. And like, <laughs> out of the corner of my eye, I see her charging at me. And then I just got a fucking hand around my, or an arm around my neck and just went down. Challenge her really? to challenge her to rough around. No, we, we're going to fight. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think your odds are in that? Minus 7,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did it, was there any part of you that was like genuinely like, Ow, this hurts. Yeah, I because <laughs> not not like you just sometimes you just go down like whatever. But I like, were you like ah fuck. I might have squealed. There might have been like a <laughs> like a oh. I don't know. Well, so, any see, bruises? No bruises, but I did clank my head. There was like a second clank. Your clank you did you hit metal? I went down like I went down and I was fine, and then she kind of landed and it like hit me again. And I just went back. <laughs> and my, uh, it was a, Reed, did you see it? No, I just turned the corner. I just missed it. And he was laying on the ground? I think <laughs> Nate saw it and O'Malley saw it. But uh, yeah, I want to get that footage because that is something. Speaking of squeal, you texted us. You you fell through your bed frame? Yeah. Oh. yeah. While eating spaghetti and meatballs on it. I was eating meatballs. I just did my sheets. It was a clean bed, clean room, and I collapsed in my bed and let out the gayest squeal of all time. <laughs> just slow motion. I'm going down. I was like, ah! <laughs> um, So, yeah, it's been a, a string of L's. And then leaving Rough and Rowdy was probably the worst night of my life. I left the office what? Saturday um, and tried to get home. We went out to a bar after. Mm-hmm. Tried to get home to Jersey City. I was in gridlock traffic for two hours. At what time? At like 1.30 in the morning, Oof. maybe two in the morning. Do you know you're friends with us, right? You could text. Yeah, I wasn't going to hit you up and be like, hey, can I come over? Why? I, I don't know. It feels weird. Not weird, but like I didn't want to bother anyone. To seek shelter? Yeah, I didn't want to like weird. bother people, you know? Yeah, that's fair, I guess. And I was in gridlock traffic and I was drunk. So I was like, fuck it, I'm getting out of this. So I walked to Times Square <laughs> Booked a hotel on my phone, 
right as I'm about to get to the hotel, I grab chicken fingers and French fries from a vendor outside. I was like so pumped. I'm like, yo, drunk food, about to get a hotel, whatever. Get to the hotel, show them my reservation. I booked it for the wrong day. <laughs> oh, no. That's so, just sad. So now <sighs> I'm just trapped in Manhattan wearing an untell this bitch shirt, eating chicken tenders in Times Square at like three in the morning. <laughs> Walked around for another 45 minutes looking for a hotel. Everything Sleep was sold at the out. office. I can't get in the front door. Why? My Brevo or whatever the app is doesn't work on the front door. It only works. Oh, that's uh, that's not good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I also have that same problem. And do you guys don't have a key card? There's an app. I didn't know there was an app. I didn't There's know there an was app. an app. Yeah, I have an app. The, the, I, I didn't have a key card. I, I honestly thought they were like quiet firing me for like for like a year and a half. I was like, can I get a key card? And they like were like the Jets meme. They were like, no, you're all set. And I was like, <laughs> like, and Enrique would just be like, no, you're good. And I was like, what the fuck? What, are you what about? does that mean? You have a pile of them right there. Yeah. And then like, he literally does. It like, won't matter later. soon. Yeah. It, that, oh, no, actually, this was actually very recent. It was, we were interviewing, <laughs> oh, oh. we were interviewing Tom Segura during oh, uh, July 4th, during break, July yeah. 4th week. So no one was going to be here. And I was like, I need to get into the office. And he goes, I'll give you a day pass. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Got oh. me a day pass on the brief. That's insane. So I can, I also cannot get into the office. But yeah, I, I couldn't get into the you, office. But you've only been here for a cup of coffee. <laughs> it is very weird that I can't get into the office. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> a day pass is so disrespectful. They, like they, I'm gonna need to get in tonight and I'm gonna have to go ask Jackie if I can just have her key card and I'll leave it at her desk afterwards. That's crazy. You made up a phrase that was bigger than Barstool. <laughs> get the man a key card. A custom one at that. <laughs> yeah, gold plated, please. Mm -hmm. Anyway, though, I got back to my apartment at five in the morning oh, and ooh. then I had the hotel. They wouldn't let me refund it. So I just slept in a shitty hotel on Saturday. Night. <laughs> <laughs> it was, like, was it fun? <laughs> no, it was it was pretty gross, to be honest with you. What hotel? Uh, the Manhattan at Times Square. What, Sounds you nice. You didn't have to go. I. It's better than my room. Oh God! Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, no. I have my mattress on the floor now because I don't have a bed frame and oh, like no true. AC. So I was like, "Fuck it!" I get air conditioning and whatever. And I just watch the fights in a, in a hotel. It was pretty depressing. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you don't need to tell me that. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah, Chicago will be better for your living arrangement. Probably not. Why not? <laughs> I just don't. Have you got to upgrade the bed. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get a queen. Well, we'll get a few queens. <laughs> You're gonna be sleeping with with twins in the queen. on a queen. Oh hell yeah! They'll be sleeping with a fool. Maybe I'll get a king in there. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take up my entire apartment. Of a king, a king, and if, a if king. the king is like bent, if you have like a half pipe of a mattress in your apartment, <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like yeah, you can just sleep on one side, and the girl just has to roll down to you. <laughs> you get left side, I'll get right, and then you just both. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect ploy. Oh, man. All right. Well, Feidelberg, thank you for doing this. Thank and uh, guys, again, me. thank you for everything you've done for Kyle and his family. It's really, they are looking at it and it's uh, you're not doing it for nothing, which is awesome. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, final note. The Maresh game night stream will be out as soon as possible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On YouTube. Awesome. Um, I think we're going to upload basically the entire thing minus a couple parts that need to be edited out. So. Uh, who said the things that needed edited out? Uh, chatter. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That was awkward. Yeah, that was. Some, we, we were playing a T-shirt game and where anybody could. We didn't think you could draw anything you want on this T-shirt. And it's just the T-shirt pops up and it's right next to our face. And we just had this huge swastika next to our a rainbow face. Rainbow swastika. <laughs> a rainbow swastika, which is <laughs> a rare, set mixed a messages. Rare one. Rare one yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a remix of a classic. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was cool. Well, no, it was. uh <laughs> The 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 the, the, the mm -hmm. there's no working around. Nope. Yeah. Fuck. Oops. Yeah. All right. New one told story. God bless.